a mysterious hunter from a surprising lineage that has colonized most of the tropical habitats in the Americas. A mortal enemy of one of the Amazon's most charismatic creatures. This killer is the shadow of a shadow. Mysterious, elusive, deadly. This is the Jaguarundi. The Jaguarundi is one of the most widespread cats in the Americas, one of the most diurnal, and one of the most adept to grassland environments. And yet, we know very little about these elusive animals. And speaking of cats, I want to take a minute to thank Base Paws for sponsoring this video. Base Paws is the number one cat DNA test that helps cat parents learn more about their cat's breed and health. Base Paws uses a world-class feline genomic database to trace your cat's breed type and breed region. These can influence your cat's personality, traits, and most importantly, their hereditary genetic health conditions. And it can be done in just three steps. One, register your kit. Two, swab the inside of your cat's mouth for five to 10 seconds. And three, send your sample to Base Paws. Your cat's sample will undergo analysis and your results will be available in four to six weeks. With personalized results for your cat, you can make informed decisions to support your best friend's optimal health. After all, knowing is caring. Visit basepaws.com slash animalogic and order your cat DNA test today. And you can use Animalogic 30 to receive $30 off your first order for a limited time. Base Paws. Better lives, lived longer. In many ways, the Jaguarundi seems to resemble weasels and teras more than they do other cats. In fact, reports of Jaguarundis are often misidentified mustelids. Their elongated body, solid color without spots or rosettes, and relatively small limbs and ears give them a prehistoric look. Early cats such as Proilurus probably looked more like jaguarundis than tigers or domestic cats. For a while, they were a mystery. Why are they so different from other Central and South American cats like margays and ocelots? The answer turned out to be that they belong to a completely different lineage and are more closely related to cougars and cheetahs. Cheetahs seem like a weird cousin to an American small cat, but there were cheetahs in North America for millions of years until about 12,000 years ago. And like their cousins, they originated in Eurasia and migrated to the Americas via the Bering Strait. American cheetahs died out during the Holocene megafauna extinction event, which also saw the end of American lions, mammoths, and ground sloths in the region. But cougars and jaguarundis, who managed to colonize South America, survived there and later came back to recolonize North America. This difficult evolutionary history created sturdy and adaptable hunters. Jaguarundis survive in a variety of environments, from jungles to savannas to semi-arid thorn scrubs. But their success is limited by the success of their two mortal enemies, humans and ocelots. Humans hunt jaguarundis for sport and to protect their livestock, and ocelots often outcompete and catch jaguarundis for food. Ocelots can be up to 15 kilograms and are nearly as good at hunting on the ground as they are in the trees. Jaguarundis are on average only 5 kilograms and prefer sticking to the ground, where their grey or reddish coloration keeps them hidden from predators and prey. Ocelots are avoided with such rigor that jaguarundis usually hide for the entirety of their nemesis's nocturnal hunting shift. These little stocky cats will start hunting at sunrise, when the ocelot sleeps, and stay out until sunset. And unlike their bigger rivals, jaguarundis are also able to thrive in open grasslands. A study on the Mexican population showed that jaguarundis spend half of their time on open pastures and the other half in forests. 
while ocelots spend over 80% of their lives in jungle trees. Jaguarundis don't get to eat too many monkeys or nesting birds, but instead, they catch a huge variety of small prey. The average weight of their prey is 400 grams, about the size of a large rat. Ground-feeding birds and rodents such as guinea pigs are their favorite prey. But they are generalists, and in different areas, their diet varies. In areas with abundant birds, they can leap over two meters to catch them in mid-air. As a general rule, they eat whatever is most abundant and easy to catch, even if it's larger prey. In areas near humans, chickens are the easiest prey. This puts them in conflict with farmers who often kill them to protect their poultry. Because of their adaptability, they have colonized most of the Americas, from North America to Argentina. Only their cousins, the cougars, have a larger range in the Americas. There used to be reports of them in the southern United States, from Texas to Alabama, but the last confirmed sighting was a roadkill from 1986. Rapid urbanization and habitat fragmentation likely caused the disappearance of the American jaguarundis. In their current range, the populations are stable, especially in the rainforests and near grasslands of Mexico and the Amazon. They're currently considered a species of least concern, though their habitat is shrinking in some parts of their range. And though they're found in a massive expanse of land, they live in very low densities, and in some cases require ranges of up to 100 square kilometers to get enough food. Luckily, their adaptability and generalist diets make them great survivors, and more resilient to change than other New World cats. But that doesn't mean we can get complacent. Protecting their habitats protects these magnificent hunters as well as other animals in their ecosystems. So what should we talk about next? Please let me know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe for new episodes every week. Thanks for watching. See ya.